Vegan Side Effect Feeling Strong Love for Life Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule. Positive Changes in Countries is a series bringing you stories of uplifting developments in all countries around the world. Positive Changes in Countries, Part 28 Incredible Governments, Incredible Citizens Iceland, India, Indonesia Continue watching to find out more. Vegan Pizza Party Woohoo! Yay! Mmm, looks delicious, Kristin. Where did you get it? Yummy. I made it myself. It's very easy. I am vegan and a lot of my family and friends are vegan too. Fantastic. The vegan lifestyle is life-saving. My country, Iceland, is also one of the most vegan-friendly countries. Why don't we start the show about the inspiring changes in your country, Kristin? Alrighty, let's go, friends. Iceland. Good day in Icelandic is good thakken day in. Welcome to my country. I'm Kristen. Iceland is a Nordic island country famous for its breathtaking natural landscapes of mountains, glaciers, and healing hot springs. Despite its small population of 342,000, Iceland is a highly developed country. The Icelandic government strives to protect its wildlife and biodiversity through initiatives like enhanced environmental monitoring, reforestation and sustainable eco-tourism. There are currently three national parks in Iceland, with Vatnajökull being the largest and also the one designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Plans for a fourth national park in the nation's vast central highlands have also been submitted to Iceland's parliament for approval. Along with a ban on single-use plastic shopping bags and other plastics, the use of plastic cutlery, dishes, drinking straws and cosmetics containing microplastic beads are also no longer allowed. Government-supported campaigns are encouraging the use of recyclable or reusable bags and containers and requesting businesses to minimise plastic packaging. The wise Icelandic government has turned to sustainable energy to benefit its citizens. Today, 100% of Iceland's electricity is renewable, with hydro and geothermal electricity contributing 75% and 25% respectively. Geothermal energy also provides 87% of the nation's hot water and space heating. As a world leader in this area, Iceland also generously shares its advanced geothermal technologies with many other countries. In recent years, Iceland has seen tremendous interest in the vegan lifestyle. In 2018, Iceland was ranked by culinary website Chef Pencil as the most vegan-friendly country in the world. There is even a vegan Iceland phone application and one Icelandic vegan Facebook group has more than 22,000 members. What incredible achievements, Iceland! May we all follow your vegan-friendly, renewable living and the loving guidance of the Providence. Thank you! Friends, my country of India is very, very vegan-friendly too. Yes? The vegan diet is widely practiced in my hometown. I learned how to cook excellent vegan dishes from the book Supreme Kitchen International Vegetarian Cuisine by Supreme Master Qinghai and members of the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association. I will add that to my vegan cookbook collection. Yes, I also learned from the awesome vegan cooking shows on Supreme Master TV. Please, tell us more, Amara. Republic of India Namaste in Sanskrit means I honor the divine in you. I am Amera, located in South Asia, 
India has a rich and glorious spiritual history with civilizations that date back to ancient times. Over the years, India's holy Himalaya mountains and the sacred Ganges River have attracted millions of pilgrims seeking the true inner meaning of life. India is the home of many great enlightened masters, including Lord Krishna, Guru Nanak, Shakyamuni Buddha, Lord Mahavira, Baba Savan Singh and more. India is a recipient of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Shining World Leadership Awards for Environmental Protection and Good Governance as well as a laureate of three Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, three Shining World Leadership Awards for Justice, two Shining World Leadership Awards for Peace and Shining World Leadership Awards for Good Governance and Protection. Through various climate policies, India has made significant progress in boosting renewable wind, hydro and solar photovoltaic electricity. In 2018, we already achieved the 2022 Sustainable Energy Goal. By 2020, India was up to an impressive 38% share of installed electricity from renewable sources. A more ambitious goal has thus been set for 2027 to achieve 57% in renewable electricity capacity. With a long history of successful vegan and vegetarian lifestyles, it is estimated that 20-40% to of Indian people are lacto-vegetarians. In fact, the city of Palitana in Gujarat, India has completely banned animal slaughtering as well as the selling and consuming of eggs and meat. Palitana has thus become the world's very first all-vegetarian city. Supreme Master Ching Hai honored to present the city of Palitana, India, the Shining World Hero Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Leadership Award, and the Shining World First Total Vegetarian City Award with high salute, best wishes, and sincerest praises. May God forever love and protect all lives in your city, a beacon of mercy and righteousness for the whole world to emulate. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for hearers, compassion, and love towards hearers' precious children. Although cow's milk is deeply rooted in its food culture, India has welcomed many plant-based milk products, making it easy to switch to vegan. Vegan restaurants are also expanding at an exponential rate in India, particularly in the vegan-friendly cities of Chennai, Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore and, of course, Palitana. Finally, do you know that Kumbh Mela takes place approximately every 12 years in India and is the world's largest spiritual congregation? held at four different places on the Ganges River. The Prayag Kumbh Mela of 2013 received some 30 million pilgrims in one day. In a lecture given on July 7, 2019 at the New Land Ashram in Taiwan, Formosa, Supreme Master Ching Hai talked about India's purity and the naturally spiritual nature of her people. Hmm, but I love India. People, also, they love India. The food and people are so pure, you know. Mostly, of course, everywhere we have uh, rich and poor, you know. But they are very, very pure people, very, very uh, God loving, believing. Mm. You can go to any corner of any farm, anywhere, far away from cities. And you go into any farmer's house, the first thing they say to you is God's name, like. Ram Ram or Krishna or whatever, they would say that to greet you. Yeah, they remember only God. <laughs> I love that very much. We thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her loving insight into the people of India. Through to India, in heaven's loving light, may we all follow your noble example as we transition in the golden age. Inspiring friends, We'll pause now for a helpful message. When we come back, I will take you to Indonesia. 
please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegan Side Effect What Effect? Welcome back to Positive Changes in Countries, Part 28. Let's go to Indonesia. Republic of Indonesia. Om Swastiastu in Balinese is peace and greetings from God. I'm Dharma. With 270 million people who call Indonesia their home, this island country is, amazingly, the fourth most populous in the world. With over 1,300 ethnic groups, and 700 local languages, Indonesia honors its multicultural citizens. The nation's tropical climate and island geography support greatly diverse ecosystems. Many are now protected through Indonesia's creation of over 50 national parks in the last 30 years. Nine of these parks also safeguard marine life, while six have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Indonesia is a recipient of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Good Governance and a laureate of Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Protection. To support her people in a more sustainable way, Indonesia has turned to green energy sources for power. Currently, hydropower is the main form of renewable energy. Electric vehicles are also a green goal, with approximately 45 million two-, three-, and four-wheeled vehicles charted to be on the road by 2030. Thanks to initiatives supported by the Indonesian government, significant progress has been made in educational opportunities for girls as well as boys. The literacy rate for young women and men aged 15 to 24 years has gone up to 99.7%. Leadership roles filled by Indonesian women has also been on the rise. His Excellency, President Joko Widodo, has prioritized gender equality and has appointed the highest number of women in history as ministers in his cabinet. The nation's finance minister, Her Excellency Sri Mulyani Indrawati, was voted best minister in the world at the 2018 World Government Summit. As a country that has benefited from international donations made during her times of need, Indonesia is returning the favor with the 2019 launch of Indonesian Aid. This 283 million US dollar fund will be used to help other countries recover from natural disasters and humanitarian crises. Plant-based living is also gaining great momentum in Indonesia. Indonesian cuisine is vegan friendly by nature. The Indonesian island of Bali is often listed among the most vegan-friendly destination in the world. In a lecture given on April 7, 2012, in France, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke highly of Bali and its plant-based delicacies. Bali is beautiful. I know, yeah. Good vegetarian shop with good cakes. Yeah, I <laughs> know. I remember. Baligin tuwa sirsan hong min chilka baksh tamjul jen balie tamdir chaga ta chakarta tamdir chaga jen baksh olod balie olod mashik koy gazra tigati mashik sahang tsaran hotlem wa yota dilgurte tin da mashik ant ta baaf baaf ta. And I remember the the Indonesian food. Oh, delicious. I know. Noy kung chte ta Indonesia hot mashik sahang ta. Even. Any food, you know, and the cakes, oh, so tasty. They know how to make these uh, tidbits, you know, the snacks, sweet snacks. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> we thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for her ever amazingly detailed observations and accolades for Indonesian vegan delicacies. What wonderful achievements, Indonesia! May forever compassionate Allah always bestow abundant grace upon your nation. Thank you. Join me for an Indonesian dance. It has come to the end of our show. Wonderful viewers, thank you for being with us. 
Coming up next is the blessing of initiation. Joyful kitchen gathering with Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan Part 2 of 3 on between master and disciples right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Peace be upon you. Vegan side effect enemy who? Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PCC.